Hello, Portobello Live. I'm Laurent, and today with me is Danny Thompson of The Vegan Vamp. <laughs> there it is. A wonderful, wonderful page talking about veganism and lifestyle choices that you can be making every single day. So, Danny has worked in many, many different fields, including Instagram now, but has been a very prolific actress as well. So, what I'd like to know is as an influential member of the community, of the vegan community and of society at large, what is it that you would like to see change in veganism in the world in 2019? I think I just like it to be easier for people. And I mean, it is getting to be that way. I mean, now there's so many more options. Supermarkets are now including so much more. I mean, even just literally 2019, there's so much more has been kind of added to their ranges. I think it is already easier, but also like obviously for the rest of the world and going out restaurants and now they are making it easier. I mean, it used to be difficult even to be vegetarian. And I think your only option then was like a goat's cheese tart or a risotto. Like now, I mean, most restaurants will also have a vegan option, but I'd like to see more and more so that you can go to mainstream restaurants as well, obviously, um, and have that option. But I think we're heading in the right direction, but I would just like to see it become a lot more easier. Fantastic, yeah, we really would. It would be something absolutely incredible to see veganism develop into such a thing that becomes normalized. We're looking at you. We want normalized <laughs> veganism, just normal. So Danny actually works a lot in the horror genre, which is a really exciting genre to be working in. It seems like it's actually picking up a lot nowadays. There's a lot of interest in it, especially in the B-sides and everything. It's, it's a growing, yeah. developing world. And tell us, what is it like being vegan in that world? Because it doesn't really seem like the it two doesn't. things would kind of go together. <laughs> um, well, I've always been a horror fan, and so I've just kind of, I've ended up kind of doing the films, the kind of films that I like. Um, and yeah, there is a lot of blood and there is a lot of gore, but you know what, it's vegan blood that we use, or it's strawberry sauce or something. So, it, you know, there's never any real blood. Fantastic. I mean, I was once producing a film and they had to make some intestines, which sounds horrific. And he, they he forgot. And I was like, well, you're going to have to work it out, but it's going to have to be vegan. And so they actually did it with them, um, like a vegan mince and some tights. And then, oh, wow. you know, so it worked. That's so, awesome. there's that. so obviously it sounds really gory. And I mean, yeah, it, it is horror, which is, you know, the opposite of being vegan. Um, but yeah, but actually on set, it's actually quite nice. And a lot of the food on set, a lot of vegan actors. Really? So a lot of viewers that tend to be quite vegan friendly. Okay. If you were to take a look at this wonderful woman's blog, you would see some posts talking about what quantifies as veganism. And it is a very, very difficult subject nowadays. With so many new people becoming vegan and the already vegan becoming even more vegan. Mm -hmm. What is vegan in 2019? It's a really big question. So my question to you is, if you had the chance to make your perfect vegan world, what would you have in it? What would be vegan for you? Well, obviously in a perfect vegan world, it would be everything, wouldn't it? I mean, people wouldn't wear leather, they wouldn't, you know, eat any animal products, they wouldn't use honey, they wouldn't anything. But I think um, you get a lot of kind of a hierarchy. A lot of people say, oh, we shouldn't even wear fake fur. And I'm like, I don't see how that really promotes what the wearing real fur. So I think it's, it's basically being vegan, it's about doing the best you can to kind of live without causing harm. So mm -hmm. obviously in a perfect world, it would be everything. But you know, I think as long as people are doing the best they can. And also for people who maybe aren't vegan, who want to turn vegan, if it's kind of thrown at them and they have to kind of do this all at once, it makes it a lot harder. Yeah. I think, you know, baby steps, like do it gradually maybe if you can't just kind of go cold turkey, go, you know, baby steps until, you know, then you'll find it much easier. So I think it's, it's difficult and when people are pushing it at people, I think that makes it a lot harder. And I think that's the wrong way to kind of go about it. So yeah, perfect vegan yeah, world, yeah. we'll be like things, living in the One forest. Love with, for yeah, everyone. exactly. Yeah. In a forest surrounded by animals, but so with Portobello Live introducing the first ever vegan and environmental film festival sustainability on screen in 2019. What kind of an impact do you think this guy actually had on the vegan community for London? Well, I think it's amazing. And obviously film festivals are going for a long time, but this really shows that people are changing. So for this to actually even be happening, you know, there's got to be a lot of people behind it. And I think that's amazing. And I think also people watching things. Now I had a friend who had never even thought about going vegan. And he watched, I think it was Forks Overnight. Okay. And that was literally overnight. He was like, that's it. And you know, and that was it. It was Fantastic. completely full change. So I think just people actually seeing these films, mm -hmm. it's going to make a massive impact. And I think it's really good. The more people are making these movies, mm -hmm. you know, the more people are watching and they're learning. Fantastic. Yeah, that is really true. Education is one of the most important things for progressing the vegan movement and for actually just enlightening the world, bringing us to not dying. 
So tell us, what does it mean to you to actually be included on the panel for sustainability on screen? I think it's amazing. I think even if you can just inspire a few people, if anyone has questions, and that's kind of why I started the vegan fam. It started off just recipes. It was so many people were saying, oh, how did you find it? Just kind of giving everything up and, you know, and it's not really giving stuff up. It's about yeah. substituting ingredients. Like I can yeah. eat, you know, of course they're meat free, but I can eat the same meals that I would always eat. It's just about substituting things and making up new recipes. So that's how it kind of started before right. it went into a full lifestyle. Yeah. And it's just to kind of inspire other people and make Fantastic. other people's journey a bit easier. Yeah. So awesome. I think, yeah, any questions anyone has and if I can give them good answers and help them out, then it's amazing. Excellent. Excellent. And with the amazing news that 73 Cows has won the best BAFTA for short film this year. Tell us, how did you react? Well, it's absolutely amazing. And again, it shows that how the world is changing. For that to actually win, that it's voted for, you know, by, you know, everybody in BAFTA. But it's just amazing that that's what they've gone for. Huge over amount of so massive, yeah, yeah. massive. Big win. And with veganism being a choice, a lifestyle, something that you've chosen to bring into your world, how has that affected your decision making when it comes to working with certain companies or film productions? Does it? How does it play on your day to day? <laughs> Obviously, and on film, they they always going to ask you, you know, diet through climates, and you always say vegan, and they always, you know, they always try. I always do take my own. There was one that they tried really hard, and it was just a salad, but with nothing. I was like, it's just. I mean, they just gave me literally lettuce and tomatoes, and I was like, well, this is lovely, and I know you tried. Um, oh. So I always take something of my own, you know, and I always like, yeah. take my own soy milk or whatever. Yeah. Um, as far as decision making. Obviously, I wouldn't book an ad that was going to be for me company. I wouldn't take the job, no matter how much money I wouldn't take it. So, you know, of course, that's going to be part of it as an actor. Um, but I just think, I think you feel better as a person. I think literally when I changed, it's been a few, it's been about three years now. And I think you straight away, not only do you think, oh, I'm not eating any kind of animal products. And I was already, I didn't eat meat anyway, I'm vegetarian, but still, like even giving up everything else. You just feel better about yourself. Like, it's just like you kind of, it's like a, a like light bulb goes off or something, you're just suddenly like, I feel like a better person. You just feel better yeah. as like in yourself. So I think Fantastic. not only kind of for your health, but also just your well-being. I think yeah. it makes you feel better. So. 100%. Great. And just to finish off, can you tell us what advice do you have for anyone who wants to go vegan in 2019? Well, you know, no time like the present. I mean, a lot of people are kind of putting it off and they're like, oh, you know, it's like, it's like news resolutions, isn't it? People want to do something at the beginning of the year. I was like beginning of the week, I'll be like, right, you know what, this is a new week start afresh and you know what if you make mistakes if you you know don't kick yourself too much you're trying and just keep trying and eventually you get to that point where it's really easy and you wouldn't even think about it like you know it doesn't even occur to you that you might want to do something else so yeah just do the best you can and uh it is much easier so fantastic make those moves people do it. and with that we say thank you so much please check out our instagram right there and of course, ticket links are in the description down below. Portobello Live, 5th and 6th of May. Sustainability on screen, showing you the best and newest in vegan and environmental films. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Laron. Until next time, see ya.